Hey guys, so um, I finally got the inner support distance straightened out and I got everything secured in place. Um, and as you can see, we have a much better tolerance on each side. Well, there will be. Um, but there's more than there was before. So um, it definitely was an issue with the distance in here. But as you can see, um, now it rolls very well. So um, I might actually take some more off in the middle to make it a little bit easier um, because it does kind of roll into the little rod goes in under weight so it's just a matter of maybe putting some washers in here or something or something to keep it separated um, but definitely shortening this a little bit more wouldn't hurt but came up with a an idea and took some of my leftover pressure treated wood and made a frame with rollers underneath and it moves around much easier now um, I had an epiphany um, the other day and I was trying to figure out how to get the water thing timed as it rotates to squirt um, and you know when I talked to a water specialist, it was just like, you know, you have to have a pump that has a preset, blah, 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 blah. So I was wondering, using some of my nursing know-how, if maybe, since I'm going to have the driver um, motor here to rotate, why not on this end have like a very large IV bag up here so the pump can pump water into the, a large um, cistern, if you will. It doesn't have to be plastic. It could be, you know, whatever, um, aluminum, I don't know, whatever. But the point is, is that if I had a cistern of water up here with a pump feeding it, you know, on a float, that every time it sprayed, I'd just put little trip switch, like a little trip switch that would open it you know open the valve spray and then as it moved off it would pop off the switch and as the next one would come it would kind of hook it spray and the weight of the water would actually um spray the water which i think that's kind of neat um and one less electrical thing that i have to figure out because i can definitely handle the mechanical part, it's the electrical part. Um, anyway, so coming along much better. Um, I'm still working on the the lighting bar. Um, I'm running into some problems with the the two foot. Um, um, what do you call it? Two foot um, fluorescent lights. Sorry. Um, so I'm thinking what I might have to do is, as you can see, these, these are offset based on, so here's a 14 foot one, I could put, or a four foot one, I could put another four foot one right next to it, um, down to here, instead of a two foot. And I have enough of the, the shop light things to make it work. And I just have to take the two foot light bulbs back, which Home Depot is always okay with that. Um, and it's easy to replace four foot to the post two foots. And they'll all end up being, what do I have, Sylvania. What do I have? Uh, yeah. The uh, Sylvania Daylight 6500s. 40 watts. Um, rapid start. And the preheat on them is next to nothing. Um, the shop light is 60 degrees Fahrenheit at most. So, that being said, I just have a little trip up there. Um, but once that's together, then I'm going to have that bar go straight through there. And 
the light bar, which comes up and in to the other side where there will be another light bar and it will stay stationary and this will rotate around it. So, much better thing and then the hard part is going to be creating the drip pan, the reliable drip pan and we're going to be using our high pressure tubing down the middle and utilizing the um, oh kaja goo goo I hear it there to for um, it actually sprays up like a upward cone like this um, and I'm actually using um, oh actually here they are so this is going to go into the high pressure and then this is going to, as it comes, well this will be on the bottom. So as it comes down and it trips the thing, the water will spray up, saturating it, and then it'll go, you know, it'll go on. But um, in keeping true to my budget, I'm trying to use everything that I can that's um, not specialty or any of those things like that, but they're all water um, um, what do you call it, fresh water potable, so that being said, um, she isn't pretty, but she definitely is back on track, so I'm excited. The neat thing now is, instead of to shorten these, I won't have to take this down and do it again, because now all I have to do is loosen the screws, that, oh, actually, right now these don't have screws. I didn't do screws because I was worried I'd have to cut it again. So all I have to do now is literally push it apart. Um, I'll have to use my rubber mallet. As you can see, I use it a lot to separate and try it. Um, so anyway, I can shorten it. And in all reality, I don't really need this centerpiece here. Um, but I want it because the drain thing is going to actually hang off of this so I do kind of need it I don't need it for structural um, although it'll keep it from drifting apart um, but it definitely will be necessary when we get to the the, the drain thing because I'm actually going to use um, some waterproof fabric to catch the water and go down in the middle and it's going to be almost like a, a rain reclamator like we had in in survival training but anyway um so this is her so we're doing our final revs here i'm gonna to have to redo these um because i wasn't happy with how they were looking they just they just looked weird um and weren't necessarily sealed and i'm not worried about how they look as much as how they look in use if that makes sense so and i found out that glue gun glue is non-toxic so that's good so if i can give anybody any advice it's be patient and don't try to rush it if you're not feeling into it and you're trying to figure something out work on something else and then come back to it because if you rush it and you push it all together and you're not ready for it, you could actually set yourself up for a bigger problem in the end. Oh, and I use those handcuffing straps <laughs> I had left over. Anyway, um, enough said about that. Um, you guys have a great evening. Sleep well. Remember, emotions are gifts you give yourself. Nobody can give them or take them away from you. And love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.